Well, hello. It's been a little while and I thought I should probably hop on here and say hi and let you know that I'm still here. I'm still working on Tom Munchley paper bloops. Um, I've just been a bit rubbish about posting, so I'm sorry about that. But I am still here. I am still working on new templates. Um, things have changed a little bit around here, as you might be able to tell from my background. I am no longer in what was my previous studio. Um, we ended up having to convert that to a playroom for my son, who is nearly two. How did that happen? And yeah, I live in Calgary in Canada and our winters are pretty cold and pretty brutal. So we needed somewhere indoors that he can run around and play. And I'm sure if any of you have toddlers in your life, you know just how important that burning of the energy is right now. So I have been relocated and I'm now in what was our previous uh, spare bedroom. It's still very temporary since I moved in. I've not had a chance to sort or organise or make it look pretty at all. So I'm just going to be real and show you what we're working with right now. So I do have my desk set up. I have lots of stuff out right now. There is still a bed behind me, which is not even made. <laughs> And then I managed to make a makeshift desk space over there and put all of my flowers up the top in what was the closet space. So yeah, it's very temporary. Um, it's not ideal, but I'm making it work. And I'm just grateful that I have this space that can be a dedicated studio paper flower making space. So I'm very lucky that I have that. Um, and we're just going to go with it. So hopefully at some point I will show you making it look a little bit nicer and, you know, making the bed. <laughs> but I just decided I needed to get on here and say hi because it's been a long time. So let me show you what I've been working on while I haven't been posting. So I made some calla lilies, so here they are. Um, and I was happy with them-ish. I wasn't convinced they were perfect. So the design of them is fine. There's nothing wrong with them. They obviously look like a calla lily, but I just felt they weren't quite right. So when I'm designing my templates, I'm always thinking about how you will make them. So if I start doing something and I'm like, oh, that's not quite right, I can tweak it and I can adjust it. And because I've been doing this for so long, I know what to change to make it right. But what I'm intending with most of my templates is that you can, if you want, follow the instructions step by step and do exactly what I tell you to do. Now, obviously, as you get better, you'll probably tweak those and adjust those because that's just the nature of progressing in art. But right now, I want you to be able to follow it step by step if you want to. So as a template, obviously, they need to be perfect. They can't be, oh, maybe that needs tweaking or, you know, maybe that would be better if we did this. They need to be right. And I'm not convinced they're there just yet. So I kind of stopped working on them. I've left them as they are for now. Um, and I just wanted to be real about that because sometimes in art, that's how it goes. Like if it's not right, you just need to walk away. So I did spend a lot of time working on those and trying to perfect them and they weren't right. So for now, they're kind of on hold. So I'm hoping that at some point soon, I'll get inspired to pick them back up again. And hopefully there might be some color lily templates coming your way very soon. But for now, we'll just see how it goes. And... I'll let you know when I feel more inspired on that one. <laughs> on a similar note, I also did some tulips, which are up behind me, up there somewhere, um, which again were fine, but they weren't as good as I thought they could be. So I'm holding out on those as well, but I'm hoping I'll pick those back up again as we're coming into spring. They're a good one to try and look at again. And then right now I am actually working on an anemone. Um, I am on my fifth revision of the template because it's still not quite there, but I'm feeling confident now. I think we're nearly there. So there's so much work that goes in behind the scenes to creating these templates. And I just wanted to be honest about that. So if you've made any paper flowers before, I'm sure you know that every single one gets slightly better. The more that you do, the better it gets. It's not just a case of you pick up your paper and your materials and you make this perfect flower first time around. Like, I would love it if that happened, but it doesn't. Maybe it does for some people, but for me, I need to refine my design and tweak it and just make sure that what I'm putting out there is the best that I can do. Um, maybe that's the perfectionist in me and maybe that's an annoying trait, I don't know, but I would rather it was right before I put it out into the world. So yeah, I'm on revision five. I'll just show you some of the, the failures. 
So here's kind of where I've been with the design. So you can see this one on the side here. It's very nice, but it's not quite right. This one was one of the first ones I did and the shape of the petals is all wrong. So they're more like a rose. Um, I definitely put too much of a curl on those. Like I said, this one is getting better, but it's still not quite an enemy. It's something else. I don't know what flower it is, but it's not an enemy. Um, and then I'm kind of working on this new petal shape now, which I think is going to be a lot closer. So we'll see how that goes. But then one thing I did want to show you was the centers. So I'm just going to focus in on this one, hopefully. Okay, so this is the first center that I did. So it's got the black ball center. And then I've got the fringing detail with the purple and black. So there's nothing wrong with that. It does look like an anemone. Um, it's fine. But I wanted to show you how things have improved between each stage. So this is the first one. And then I moved on to this one. So I added a black fringe right tight around the ball that kind of curls into the centre. And then I made the fringing detail a little bit longer. And I think that's a lot better. I definitely like the, the fringe detail around the ball. I think that helps. But then I wasn't sure about the length of the purple and black fringe here. I think that needs to be slightly smaller. And also possibly the ball needs to be a bit bigger. So then I also have this one. It's going to be difficult to show because it's not got anything to rest on right now. Okay, so this is the current design. It's actually really hard to see in this light. So let's rotate. Okay. Oh, there you go. We have a dog cameo at the same time. <laughs> this is Harvey. <laughs> okay, so the best lighting appears to be with a dog background. So that is something I need to figure out in this new space. Obviously, this isn't set up for filming in here. So I will try and improve that as soon as I can for you. But for now, you get cute puppies to look at. So, <laughs> so here's the centre that I'm currently working on. So... You can see it's got the ball in the middle and then I've got the black fringe in there as well. And then I've actually tweaked the purple and black fringe that's around the outside. So it's not as long as the second design, obviously longer than the first. And then I've just played with the edge detail, so the, the black. And instead of that just being one piece of folded over paper, um, that's actually like a twisted bit now. So it's a bit more fiddly. But I think it looks a lot better. I think it's worth it. So I'm really happy with that, how that's turned out, because the ends of the fringe on an anemone centre, they're like little round, I guess, little oval balls. And they're definitely a bit thicker. So I think this has worked out a lot better. So I'm happy with this now. And now I just need to work on the petals. And as I say, I have tweaked those petals five times so far to get the right shape. So I'm really hopeful that I'm nearly there. So we'll see how the next round goes. Um, hopefully I'll keep you posted. I'm not gonna promise that I will share it on social media because I know what I'm like. However, I promise to try and remember to do it because I just need to get better at social media, don't I? So please hold me accountable. If I don't share it, send me a message, send me a comment, call me out on it because I need to get better at this. So unless anyone wants to be a social media manager for me for free, then um, yeah, call me out on it. Help me out here. <laughs> um, so hopefully I will have this design finalized ASAP and then I can work on the template and getting that up for you and a tutorial video as well. So when I do get it finished and the template up on onto the website, it will be a free one. So anyway, hopefully it will be with you very soon. I just wanted to keep you posted and let you know I am still working. It's just... Life is incredibly busy. I'm only able to work part-time at the moment because I'm also looking after my son part-time. And I also have to do some contract work just to pay bills. So it's quite difficult to do everything all at once, <laughs> but I'm trying. I'm working as hard as I can to get more templates to you as soon as possible. And I wanna get better at sharing more behind the scenes stuff as well. So hopefully there might be some more chatty vlog style stuff like this if you're interested in it. Uh, do let me know if you do like this style of stuff. Um, it might be a bit more real and unmade beds behind me, that kind of thing. So in order for me to get more content out to you, maybe like some making flowers together type videos. Um, yeah, I might need to be a little less polished <laughs> in my uh, video editing because that is not my strong point. I am an artist. I am not a video editor. 
So I'm doing my best with it, but it takes me a while. So I think I need to focus more on just getting the content to you and not worry so much about the format of that. So we'll see, but um, hopefully you'll stick with me and don't hold it against me if I'm not that regular with my schedule. I'm doing my best. And um, yeah, hopefully there'll be some more stuff very, very soon for you. So thank you for sticking with me this far and hopefully I'll see you again very soon. Until then, happy flower making.